So, this is my coach. He told me to. This is my coach. He told me to bring down my adversary. And uh, make sure that I'll do that. And I'll do everything that my coach said. Today, my adversary will put it down by the other one. The final right there from Major Abdul Kader in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen. This is Abdul Kader in the blue corner from Niger, the now Tunisia of Abdul Kader. Pour le combat de 81 kilos. Dans le troisième combat ce soir, si this is our third, our third fight, 81 kg between Abdul Kader and Niger. The boxer from Niger making his entrance into the ring and followed by Abdul. Abubakar, Abubakar, Abubakar Tarai from Mali with the belt for the light heavyweight 81 kg à ce point-ci faisant son entrée nous avons le, le champion venant du Mali Abubakar Traoré, venant du Mali. Le combat de 81 kilos. Nous avons aussi... Nous avons six tours à ce, à ce combat. We, we currently have six rounds for this. Jason, what do you think? Is this going to be... Uh, a different one. Yeah, this, this from the six to nine, we're looking currently at eighty-one kg. This is going to be a good fight because both boys at the press conference and the way in it was really giving it to each other. So it, 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 it was heated, basically heated, yeah. heated stuff. So we're going to see if they're really going to put that heated stuff back into the ring. So Niger going again, Mali. So the Malian Mr. Kawai is. The champion of this one, he holds the title, he holds the belt, and it's been two years so far. I mean, he has to, he definitely has to defend it. Supervisor Mr. Mohamed Jufis making sure to, this fight goes well. This is the light heavyweight. Of The fight is officiated by uh, Bobo Barry from Kinekunakri. Peter Notrabi, the venant de, de la Guinée, Monsieur Bobo Barry, sera. Au milieu pour. And. Uh, we don't really see a lot of energy like uh, we had first uh, six. In, I mean, the second fight in the 69 kg fight. Yeah, this, um, this, this is bigger boys and they hit harder so Yes, you can't afford to make the mistakes, so you're not going to sleep. Uh, we have the Mali, and they seem to have a they have longer arms basically, and wants to capitalize on that. Could that work in his favor, Jason? What do you think, Chan? Yeah, I mean, the longer arm, the, 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 the box of the long arms are always going to keep it, keep it into the jab and try and hit you with that power. Yes. The power left is a, is a side pull, so we haven't really seen any action at this point. Even though we're, 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 a, few minutes, we're, a, few, we're a few minutes into the first round, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think the, the punch hurt him, I think. The Mali box is definitely getting closer. I mean, be, being a title hold. 
it comes with its perks, but I mean, is he able to maintain it? Yeah, Holland hold, hold had, had it very hard because he got more pressures than the average fighter. But at the moment, it looks like um, he's using his jab very well and he's picking his punches. So I think the Niger fighter's got to push forward. No. Definitely needs to pull forward. There's a lot of space yeah. between the, the, yeah. the, the, the two fighters. And you can't really have that much space against someone who's got long arms, you see. So, yeah, the Niger fight is getting closer. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Very strange count, but um, that I don't I don't know whether we all uh, um, they're holding. Is the is is, is could Abu Bakr continue? Could Abu Bakr continue? He, he seemed to find it extremely hard to keep his his balance at this point, and that is the end of the first round. And look at him contain himself and he he knocked down the jacket. Very, very good shot. Very, very, very strange at this point. I mean for the first round for you to go down. I mean I mean Jack, you been in this mess. It was just the down was a bit really strange to me because the referee to so um you feel it was a little on a fake call at that point. I don't know, I didn't know what was happening, but I think the fighting the punch fighting the referee as well. <laughs> well, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Mr. Mohamed Jufus is looking at his clock. Because we are entering the, the second round at this point. And he calls the two boxes to the middle of the ring. This is it, the second for the, the 81 kg between Aboka Karoli from Mali and Abdul Kader from Niger. Nous sommes dans le deuxième tour entre Aboka Karoli du Mali et Abdul Kader du Niger. C'est officié par M. Bobo Barry de la Guinée-Conakry. Please tell me you're impressed by this, Jason. Yes, yeah, a very good fight. I think it's obviously the first round, 10, 10 8 round. We went to the. We were looking at six Niger. rounds. We were looking at six rounds. So we're here. And then the, the, the Niger box is waiting for his chance again. Yeah, and I think it's going to come again because um, the, the, the money in is, is definitely just. He's swinging, swinging a lot. He's exhausting um, himself. Yes, he should be shooting his, his reach, you know, but he's, um, he's trying to fight with a guy who's really waiting for the right chance. And like that one. He touched him right there. He should, he should, he should use that jab, working behind that jab, you know, you know scoring, scoring with that jab. And he holds on to the, the major boxer. Do you see any difference from the last tournament that we had? I mean, two years ago. Yes, I think, I think the referee is, is definitely better. Okay. Um, the last time the referee was atrocious. Um, yeah, he was better. I remember you. We almost had a fight in front of them. 
Um, this time we are going to the fight goal. And um, well, you, can see, you can see the card of the box of Kadir is really positioning himself. Yeah, not too. I think the, I think the Malian boss is going to be careful again because he's setting him up. He's setting him up for a knock, knockout again. And uh, Mr. Bobo calls them back in again. Like that one. He's going to be careful. Not really throw the punches. No way to throw the punches straight up, they threw it from the side. Yeah, it's it's coming from a blind spot, that's yes. why we got hit with that one. And um, we're covering, we're covering very well at the moment. Um, because obviously, there's a lot of between, there's a lot of space between the two boxes at this point. Uh, the Niger. And we are on the ground. Uh, that was 50-50. Um, that definitely. 50-50 and we're wrestling, but no. 50-50 wrestling basically in the unboxing. Because um, uh, one's a sackable and one's an overdog, so sometimes you mix, you get tangled up. And that is the end of the second round. That's the end of the second round between the 81 kg boxers right here in the Gambia. Light heavyweight. How do you think it's going, Mr. Danny? How do you think? Well, I, I, at this point, I feel it's 50-50. Um, both boxes, boxes have been able to prove the So, I mean, we have a uh, local from uh, Mali that is uh, the belt holder at this point who has to sort of somewhat step up a little bit to reach uh, the energy level that uh, the boxer from Niger, Abdul Kalia, has. I just want to he knocked him, he knocked him down, down. <laughs> in the first round. And yeah. we are, we're currently looking at the third round. I feel uh, there is hope at this point. So in the nature, it's difficult to hold. It's definitely like, it's 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 like, the spectator of the song of the troisième tour entre le Malien, Abamaka et Kader, le venant du Niger. The only thing I would say, the corners are really good to start coming out. Yeah. And the referee needs to sit in the back really quick. And make sure these guys are close to the box. At this point, we can see that it is uh, much expected from uh, the title holder, right? That's Abamaka uh, from uh, Mali. Who hasn't really done much so far. Yeah, I think, I think the um, Malian boxer is thinking about boxing now. He's using longer arms and he's using his boxing techniques to stay out of the way. And he does drop his left hand when he's, when he's jabbing, so that's where he gets cat punched. He is down again. And he is down again. I don't know why he's going to count it. The, the referee needs to count that. He, he touched the floor. And I can see that the, so the major box is, uh, is using his closeness. I mean, that last knockdown was actually a knockdown. It definitely was a knockdown. Definitely was a knockdown. He did touch the floor. So, um, he did get hit with a really good punch. Yes. So, very strange. Yeah, he, I feel he has found 
Yeah, he's fine, he's with him. And um, I think it's a matter of time before the referee's going to step in. This is uh, the, the referee calling them back into action. So far, the, 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 the Niger boxer has found his, his proper action. He's found his rhythm. And I think, um, good shot. Good shot. Good shot. I think he's taking He's coming forward, but he keeps dropping that, that left hand. That's what's making him. That's what's catching the right hand from the mic, from the Niger boxer. He's catching him. But is he, is the Niger currently using the space in his advantage? And that is it. That definitely is a very good one. That 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 is a very good one. Now we we're giving this round to the Niger. Uh, we don't know what the referee thinks. This has been three rounds. We're looking at the fourth round coming up. The fourth round coming up very soon. This is Abaka Traoré and uh, Abdul Kader. This is Mali versus Niger. We have Nate in the blue corner, and we have uh, Mali in the red corner. After this fight, there will be the presentation for the winners of the first two fights. And the supervisor and timekeeper calls the boxes to the center of the ring. Jason, this is the fourth round. They're going to be high expectation plays on the money at this point. I think it's going to be more dramas. <laughs> Much more dramas. We need more drama. Need more drama. The money and I seem to not get access to the Niger boxer. Thing. The space in between these two boxes. Uh, is that boxer ready, right Jason? No football. This is not football, y'all. And again, right now, he's trying to bring, bring, bring them up. That's up. You know, the Malian hasn't really found a proper good, good punch. He's hitting loads of gloves. Yes. Um, but he's definitely in the fight. In the fight. He's got to be careful of the overhand right. Yes. By this, by the Elijah Elijah fighter. And you can see there the anxiousness from uh, the Malian corner. Giving instruction to Abu Akar as to what to do. The Niger boxer feeling very com I mean, confident at this point. The Malians seem to really lose a lot of energy at this point. They fall to the neutral corner. The, Mal the Malian boxers can't really come in strong now. I think he realized the Niger fight could be, could be tiring, so he's pushing forward. He's still, got to, he's still got to be very, 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 very um, vigilant at what he's doing because um, the overhand right is what's going on last time. Are the two boxers using different techniques to, I mean, to your notion of this? It looks like the Niger boxer can be tiring. Oh. Yeah, the two boys are very gorgeous now because they know they're going to hit each other. They're not going to 
Yes. Yeah. 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 The major boxer grabs onto him. He's going to go up. Um, this is nosebleed. Um, we don't normally stop fights for nosebleeds because um, boxing. Boxing, you can't really stop the fight for nosebleed. We need to keep it up. We need to keep the fight going. Yeah, you should keep going. You need to keep going, you need to keep going. And that's the end of the third round. Fourth, fourth round, basically. You haven't really been able to create this, this space between each other. Yeah, I think uh, both, both, both boxers have really um, fought very hard and looked very tired. They're exhausted, they're exhausted at this point. <laughs> very tired, man. I think the Mali boxer is a bit, yes. um, bit more stronger. But then, 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 then. The Niger boxer knows that if he falls open right, he's more likely going to catch him. Yes. The Malian is coming on strong. He's finding it hard to, to find where exactly he could. The Malian box is coming on strong, but um, we should be using that jab. Is, we don't box anymore. I mean, I think he's fighting the way he's fighting because he's because he's been knocked down. Yes, I think he's trying to. And he's on the road. He's, he's on. And that is the end of the fifth round. We have one more round to go. And I'll give that one to yes, the Malian. <laughs> you give it to the Malian again. Yeah. <laughs> I think you won that one. Okay. Uh, let's just hope that that is exactly what the judge is thinking. But he's still uh, behind now. Yes. He's still behind. I mean, he's still behind. Uh, so far, out of five rounds, we have seen him drop three times, and uh, we've seen the Niger. Uh, boxer Abu, uh, excuse me, Abdul, re step up and uh, be able to control himself pretty well. I mean, this is the final round. This is final the final round. So, so we both boxers got to go at it. We really, ex we really expect. We expect a hard round this one. Someone's gonna go to sleep, maybe. <laughs> I was, I was definitely shocked, I was confessed in the first round when uh, Abuaka fell down. I mean, when he dropped, he, he was quite surprised as a champion by me. <laughs> and the referee too. Uh, we're going into the last round. The final round. This should be a good round. This definitely has to be a good round. Uh, as we point see, we are at the final round. For this fight between Abouagat Traoré from Mali and Abouagat Kader from Niger. But at the moment, both boxes, the, the Mali box is really going at it. But I feel he's really, he's, he's using a lot of energy and not really centering, not centering it over to getting the right punch. Yeah, but it's a little. I think, I think he knows that the the, 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 the Niger boxer is um, he's definitely tiring. Yes. And, 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 and he's, and he's, he's um, using his strength and his fitness to his forward. Well, 
the referee had it. I thought that was a very good punch. Yeah. Um, but referee so different. I mean, basically that's why we also have uh, the supervisor and. Uh, So it looks like the, 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 the Niger box is tiring at the moment. And um, the Mali box is definitely coming in strong. Yes, he is. He's at this point meant to redeem himself. Yep. As a champion with a light heavyweight. This is a very good fight. Both boxes. Both boxes. Not, I don't even know, know what it's worth. It's a light heavyweight contest, yes. which is at the moment, it's a 50-50 fight. If you, anyone can take it at the moment, anyone definitely can. I guess they are on a, they're basically on the average here. But the space between the two boxes doesn't really allow them to to touch each other and yeah. The Malian uses that to his advantage. I think, I think the Mali box is definitely winning this round anyway at the moment. Um, a big win in this round and keep his title, I believe. I don't know what the and that is the end of this 81 kg light heavyweight fight between Abu Akar Kuri from Mali and Abdul Kader from Niger. Ça c'est la fin ici entre Abu Akar Traoré du Mali et Abdul Kader du Niger. of uh, we have the compilation of the result by the supervisor Mr. Mohamed Juf at, uh, at this point this fight between uh, Abu Khair alongside uh, Mali versus Mali versus Niger after this, we have we have uh, to invite the Honorable Minister of Youth and Sport to do the presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, between Abu Akar and Abdu from Mali and Niger, the winner of this battle goes to Abdu Kader from Niger. Monsieur et Madame, entre Abouakar et Abdou, entre le Abouakar du Mali et Abdou du Niger, le gagnant est Abdou du Niger. Il rentre, euh, il rentre avec une ceinture à ce point-ci, le Nigérien, que avec une ceinture. Et il salue. Le Mali et le Nigérien. Thank you very much. As we have over there, we're going to quickly do the presentation for the 60 kg. The 60 kg alongside the 60 minutes. We're going to post together. We right here call on uh, Pat Mamadou's Pat Mamadou's soul.
from uh, Senegal, nous appelons Pape Mamadou Dusso pour euh, la présentation. Nous allons la faire, nous allons la faire ici. Nous allons la faire ici. Nous allons la faire ici alors. We we'll, we'll need to have the presentation done right here. Can we have the camera team and those with uh, We have the presentation done right here. Our Honorable Minister of Youth and Sports is uh, presenting the cash prize to uh, Pat Mabudu So, winner of the World Weight Venant du Sénégal, la présentation est faite pour le poids de 60 kilos à Pat Mabudu So, followed by Mr. Sumare Venant du Mali au poids de 69 kilos. Our winner right here from the middleweight, 69 kg, Ibrahim Sumare from uh, Mali. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur Sumare, d'être venu en Gambie. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le Ministre. Thank you very much.